Getting a bad grade from time to time is a common part of high school, but it can be especially stressful for seniors with what they have at stake. The most important aspect is getting past the disappointment of a bad grade and planning your next move. Hi, this is Steve from College Express, and today we're going to be discussing the grieving process of how you would deal with a bad grade and move on from it. Most people will say just to dismiss the bad grade and just move on and try harder next time. But it's not always a bad thought to just wallow in it a little bit and to think about what went wrong so you know what to do and what to prepare for for the next time you have a big test. You also deserve a little time to yourself to vent your frustrations when you're upset, especially if you know you worked hard to get a good grade, but you were unsuccessful in that process. So having that time to process everything is definitely a good thing to help you prepare for the next time. If you've received a bad grade in the test, take a second, take a deep breath, and then think over your performance in that particular subject over the past few exams. Try estimating and analyzing the impact of the bad grade could potentially have on aspects like your college admissions, predicted marks, or semester grades. Some exams or formative assessments may have portionally less weight than others. Once you've figured out the impact it has on your grade, it'll make you hopeful hopefully for the next time you try. This next step is the most crucial step of them all. After you've done your reflecting and calculating everything in your head, it's time to take a deep breath and just move on. Forgive and forget so you don't let that one bad grade have power over you. Your response to it will impact your performance next time. The only way to successfully get over the problem is to move on ahead and not constantly keep looking back. Ensure that you don't stress or beat yourself up too much. Once you've fully regrouped, the next item to do is to identify your weaknesses. Look into where you went wrong on the test, whether that be for long answers, explaining answers, the multiple choice, and sit down with a teacher, a tutor, a classmate, a friend, or even a parent and ask them for their advice. They are all there to help you along the way and help you see where you went wrong and come up with the best tactics to tackle tests and exams in the future. Once you've identified your weaknesses, now it is time to work on those. Say you ran out of time during a test, practice exam smart strategies like writing essay questions in a timed and simulated environment. That way you can practice on getting the essays done before time runs out and you have to go to your next class. Be sure to practice these every day so you perfect your gaps. Even though you may not be rewarded now, you will surely reap the benefits in the future. Once you've handled everything else that has been said in this video, it's time to tackle your next assignment or test. Be confident about your efforts, but at the same time, remember not to overestimate the complexity of the exam or subject matter. Before you attempt each question, collect your thoughts and try not to get too impulsive when you begin. The hard work we invest towards overcoming academic challenges is indicative of our performance in the future. Try not to get disheartened and never cease to march headlong into new obstacles you come across. If you like this video, make sure to like and hit that subscribe button. Also, click the bell button if you want to know when the next video goes live for a notification.